You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and we have really got to talk about what's happening on the CBS soap opera during February sweeps that has so many fans upset with Brad Bell and why they think he's ruining what should be one of the biggest and most dramatic weeks of the soap season in 2024. I am going to unpack three things that fans have called out that they think Brad Bell is doing to wreck sweeps and Bold and the Beautiful. But if you haven't, please reach down and click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. All right. Right now, we are 10 episodes into 21 episodes slated for February sweeps. Somebody asked in the comments. I've seen this a couple of times. They don't know what sweeps is. I'll tell you real quick. So Nielsen, you've probably heard Nielsen TV ratings. Nielsen ratings, they're the ones who do the official ratings. And the ratings for TV shows control how much advertisers will pay to advertise during the show. You want the best and and they look at sweeps periods to help set those ad ratings so they turn out the very best and most dramatic material to try and attract the most viewers they can during sweeps to get the highest possible ad revenue we all know that most of the other soaps are out of business there's only three on network tv there's one streaming now and it's critical it's critical to have good ratings during sweeps because if you don't get good ad revenue you don't have enough money to keep Keep the show on the air. So what we have during this most important period for budget setting and being able to finance the show is Brad Bell is pushing just shocking things out in front during this critical period. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. So the ratings so far for Bold over the past 31 weeks show a 31-week steady decline. All I can guess is Brad Bell is pulling this stunt. He's pulling in sweeps, trying to stop the ratings free fall. I honestly think he's making it worse. So take a look at these three things going on in sweeps. Let me know if you think these are part of the problem at Bold and the Beautiful right now. Number one, first and foremost, they're not utilizing their fan favorite core characters very well at all. We have three major front Front burner couples that are very popular with fans that have carried the CBS soap for the past year and in some cases years. Steffi and Finn, Ridge and Brooke, Thomas and Hope, and then an honorable mention for Donna and Eric, and also for Liam and Bill just sniffing around various women and causing problems. These are your super couples and your fan favorite characters, the ones you rely on to bring the facts fans back again and again when you write really good stories lines for them. Let me share some statistics on how little these key characters have been used this year because we're not that deep into the year and especially in February sweeps. Let's start with gorgeous couple Steffi and Finn. Guess how many sweeps episodes Steffi has been on of the 10 that have aired? Just one. One out of 10 sweeps episodes. How about that? And of the 32 episodes that have aired so far in 2024, she's been in just 12. They are using Jackie Wood about 40% of the time when she is, I think, inarguably probably the most popular female character and actress associated with Bold. Her husband, Finn, he has been in slightly more episodes because of Xander and Eric stuff. He's been in 50% of 2024 episodes. In sweeps, though, just two episodes. So one of your hottest and most popular pairs has been on one sweeps episode together. Wow. Now let's talk about longstanding super couple Ridge and Brooke. In 2024, they've been in about 50% of the episodes. In sweeps, it's been just eight, which is pretty decent, you know, eight out of 10, but it's not overwhelming. Ridge has been in eight sweeps episode, but... It is a lot more than Steffi and Finn. I'll say that, but that's only because they are RJ's parents and they are propping his plot. Now, let's talk about Thomas and Hope. Love or hate them, they attract a lot of attention and they do have a big following from people that love to hate them and people that love to love them. Hope has been in 15 episodes of this year, 2024, and Thomas has been in 17. That's an average of around 50%. It's around like Steffi and Finn. But what about sweeps you? utilization of this big couple who is an attention magnet. Two sweeps episodes. That's it for Thomas and Hope. I am 
waiting in dread to see the ratings and how it's going to go with Brad Bell sidelining his heavyweight actors, his big star characters. Already, the sweeps ratings for the first full week are in for February 5th through 9th. B&B is down 64,000 viewers compared to the week before and down 11% overall from this time in 2023. That's not great. All right. The second issue that has me thinking Brad Bell is ruining sweeps. So the flip side to bold not using their veteran popular actors that are fan favorites is that they are filling this gap with newbies. And by the way, let me tell you some of the other characters that aren't part of the big three couples on bold, but are still very popular. I mentioned Bill above. Bill Spencer has been in 14 episodes this year, three of them in sweeps only because of Poppy. If it weren't for Poppy, who's all part of the Luna and RJ orbit, he wouldn't have been on at all. Liam has six episodes in 2024, just six episodes, only one episode in sweeps. Sheila and Deacon have had one episode in 2024. One. I do know we are going to have more of them next week, more of Thomas and Hope, but so far Sheila and Deacon have barely been seen this year, one episode, and that was only them watching Poppy and Bill. Again, the Luna RJ orbit. So the question is, with all your fan favorites shoved under the bed and in the closet, who is getting all the airtime? If you've been watching lately, you know it's RJ and Luna. I am actually not going to bag on Zenday at all because, frankly, it's a breath of fresh air to see them using one of their very few black characters on a regular basis. But I am going to discuss the disservice they're doing to Zenday. He is primarily around two prop RJ and Luna and add spice to their vanilla adolescent love story. To make it clear, as I have said many times in the past, I am not insulting the acting work of Lisa Yamada, Joshua Hoffman, or Romy Park, who play Luna, RJ, and Poppy. It's not anything personal against them as actors or human beings. I am commenting on the fact that Brad Bell decided to sideline pretty much all of the popular characters on this soap opera to make it a show about this young guy, his girlfriend that he just made, and her druggy mom. So far, as of February 14th, there have been 10 sweeps episodes. Guess what? Luna has been in all 10 of them. 100% of sweeps, 100% Luna. And so has RJ. 100%. Plus, Luna has been on 27 of the 32 episodes that have aired in 2024. That is an 84% character utilization. She's actually been in more than RJ. He's only been in 25, which is about a 78% utilization. But again, both of them have consumed 100% of the sweeps episode. It's not them doing it. That's Brad Bell doing it. So when I say they've been on there, what I'm saying is Brad Bell is pushing them out there in front of everybody else. Druggy Poppy, 22 episodes of this year's 32 episodes and eight of the 10 sweeps episodes, 80% usage in sweeps. So I guess we're going to see how sweeps ratings go because if ratings don't go up, Brad Bell's plan to just throw a new cast of minor characters in our faces for a month is a dismal failure. Right now, I have to be honest, I barely want to watch Bold, but I'm a journalist and I'm a commentator and I'm covering it and I have to, but I have to be honest, you know, I used to really enjoy Enjoy it, but sidelining my faves and putting college freshmen in my face for a hundred percent of sweeps does nothing for me. And I know from looking at soap social media, it's not doing a lot for a lot of other people. So finally, the last thing I want to bring up about ruining sweeps is Brad Bell to me feels like he's demonstrating tone deafness really loudly right now. At one point, you know, there was a black family on bold, the Avants and other black characters. The Avons have all been shipped off, except Xander, we've got back just for a second to gripe about Thomas. We rarely see Carter Walton, not a lot, every now and then. And it's been since 2023 that we've seen Paris Buckingham. B&B also is the only soap to have no gay characters. And the only soap, the only soap in any of the, the other three that are on to have no Hispanic characters. And it's the only soap set in LA where the largest population 
population of Latino Americans live. But I think Brad Bell thinks by adding two new Asians to the cast, he's covered his diversity obligations. I don't think he has. I don't agree. I don't have a problem bringing in Asian characters. I have a problem with the lack of use of of the lack of diversity, the way he's treating his black characters, and the fact that there's just this gaping lack of other diversity. And what's really bothering a lot of people is that he's been totally tone deaf about how he is using Zenday Forster, given that February, by the way, is Black History Month. They've taken their one prominently used black character, Zenday, and decided to basically paint him like a rapist because druggy poppy left her pills lying around and Luna roofied herself. I'm not even going to call these mints anymore. We're just going to be transparent. Those are pills. They're drugs. They're not marijuana edibles because marijuana edibles don't act that fast and THC mints, which do exist, do not roofie people, make them hallucinate and climb in bed with someone while thinking they're someone else, even if you take two of them. Most edibles are very mild. And again, they take an hour at least to kick in and they just don't do you like this. But now Zende is feeling sick that through no fault of his own, he slept with someone he didn't know couldn't give consent. Maybe it was a little high handed, assuming Luna was responding to his flirting. But then again, he found her in his bed and she told him she was waiting there for him. A lot of viewers are not happy that Brad Bell did this during Black History Month and that he did it at all and they're calling him out for it. I just want to share with you a few comments from Twitter on the subject so you know that I'm not just making this up. Caramel Dreamer wrote, how the hell does Bold always get away with pooping? I'm going to not use the word she used. Pooping on their black characters. They don't have many but the ones they do always get crapped on and like this is is all going down with Zenday during Black History Month. Sick. Christian 178 wrote, This is the type of storyline you give your one black character that actually gives something when they're on the screen during Black History Month. Really? They are not happy. Samantha IT said, and again, here I say, during Black History Month, seriously, throwing Zende under the bus like that, you did the only thing you didn't have to do, not in 2024, not ever. And my favorite Twitter soap snarker, Adam Sarapa wrote, remember when we did our first Black History Month episode on the chat and all of us named Bold and Beautiful as having the worst track record with Black characters, and that remains true to this day. I'm right there with you, Alan. All right. That's how I think Brad Bell is ruining sweeps. I guess the ratings will tell the tale. I will be talking about those every week as the ratings come out as we progress into sweeps. I'm hoping for better, but I'm not expecting better, to be honest. Drop your comments below. Please click subscribe if you haven't already. And definitely come back soon. We're here talking B&B seven days a week. And as always, this is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 